come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They hand off to their big tight end. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. But to me, that's taking a big gamble defensively because that alignment you see, that's normally something you see down near the goal line because now if they decide to go play action, Something should be open there, and I think open big. So maybe that's something that gets filed away for later. I think without a doubt, you write it down, and if you see that look at a later date, go ahead and take your shot. And that'll set him back five. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. from the gun, Lentz, and that's complete to Sanders. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That's good. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. First and 10. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, and they're going to the run. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Pernell McPhee always a threat to find the QB, and he gets to him there. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. On the ground with a tight end. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. The ball carrier. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Third and 13. On third and long, it's Wentz. Finding his safety valve here, that's complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like right at the 40. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down. Fourth down, out is the punter, Cameron Johnston to boot it away. And now a low liner, I think he mishit it. Taken in at the 11. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. At their own 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll fake the give to Ingram, now Jackson. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard gain. First down, Ravens. Off 
the play fake. Here's Jackson. Got a man. It's Brown. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Big gains in succession. Last one was over 20. This one over 30. First down, Baltimore. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They go play action now. Jackson. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And he will take this all the way up past the 40-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. The carry here for the big tight end. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. They yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Wentz. It's caught by Sanders. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back. Let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They give it off here to the tight end. A strong broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Second and four. Tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. He was brought down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Heavy set out there on third and one. Throwing his wins. He's got his man. It's Butler. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Eagle from 13 yards out as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7-0. Makes the score Eagles 7, Ravens nothing. Returning it, Justice Hill. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put in a double coverage, and it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 46. And they take over. They'll set up shot at the 46-yard line. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. He's brought down. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set. Eluding the pressure right. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Two yards. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. Here's Wentz to throw. And he finds the tight end, Rodgers. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A good pick up there at 22. First and 10 at the That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Throwing now is Wentz. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Ball at the 14 for second and five. 48, 48, come on. Hey, come on out here. Come get some. Come get some. To throw, it's Wentz. The Sanders has got it complete. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Carson Wentz with two first half touchdown passes. And the Eagles had six to their lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, he'll score us in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do the game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Returning it, Hill. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling OK. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. They go play action with Jackson. Flush to his right. Now he'll pull it down. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Looking 
29 yards. Third line. and two. Here's Jackson. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. Jackson's now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. First red zone chance now for the Ravens. This is first and goal from about the eight. From the gun, Jackson. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Ravens. It's Hollywood Brown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Ravens draw a bit closer. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least... Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare him to do that? I was going to ask you, maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole. It's someone kicking the ball through the post. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, they just run the clock out and go to the locker room. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. Shot before half for Wentz. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. The dangerous Hill now to return. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And now he's going to use his legs. Spade Jackson hit, and he lost the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Play action. Now Jackson. And that is.
is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, Charles, let's step aside different topic here for a second. Unfortunately, the NFL lost a legend earlier in this first month of the 2020 season. Hall of Fame running back Gail Sayers passed away at 77. And Sayers, the youngest man ever inducted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, was just 34 years of age when he got that honor back in 1977. And a big reason why? He had to retire early, only played seven years in the NFL. But what a run before injuries really cut his career short. In fact, he played the equivalent of four full seasons out of those seven that he played because of injuries. But he was first team all pro five times, led the league in rushing twice, and still holds the record for kickoff return average this many years after he retired. Commissioner Roger Goodell called him one of the finest men in NFL history. And I can tell you this, partner, one of the most exciting players we'll ever see. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Raven. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. On second down, it's Ingram. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. And now Jackson will look to throw it. This will be caught at about the 5. A gain of nine there, sets up second and goal. You know, Lamar Jackson last season, the first NFL quarterback with 3,000 or more passing yards and 1,000 or more rushing yards in the same season. And we've seen both of those talents on display here today. We just saw them. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Touchdown. Mark Ingram taking it in. And now the Ravens, they're just a two-point conversion away from tying this up. Justin Tucker for the extra point. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. John Harbaugh thought about it, and now his guys are going to go for the two-point conversion. From the gun, it's Jackson. Throws right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. A running play there, going to get 10 and a quick first down. First play of the drive, excellent run. Just sets up Wash Rinse repeat, another first down. And they show run with three tight ends here on first down. Wentz now to throw. He'll buy some time right. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. He was out there waving his arms. I mean, you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help. I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. It's a second down run with Sanders. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Miles Sanders, the ball carrier. He was brought down at the 45-yard line. Brings up third down. 
So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. To throw his wins. This short throw caught by Gunner. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Queen on the tackle. That's the Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Now Wentz sliding out of the pocket. He may try and run for this. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but... It's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Up second and goal. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got it second and goal as they look to grab a late lead. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing, and as a player, that means an awful lot. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Taking it in from two-yard 
Edwards out. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practice the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence, hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. This is taken just shy of the 10. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At their own 23-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Once again, they'll go from the 23 yard line on second and ten. Play action. It's Jackson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where's he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And still a little bit of time left, but the defense can't stop the clock. So three kneel downs should be enough to finish this one off. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for their running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college often don't block very often. These guys have really developed into superior blockers, and that's why they use them in this formation so often. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Here's Sanders. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Wins on the give to Sanders. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. It happened in the NFL. The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee, and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. November. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up the fourth down. So fly, Eagles, fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.